Uh, so I, I got into a little bit of, of trouble uh, with my colleagues because I called the book Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To. Uh, and I wanted to just make sure that readers understood that that in the future, we are going to have a choice about how fast we age. Already, there are ways to live your life, uh, drugs that are on the market that have a very high likelihood of slowing down the aging process. And we're on the cusp of having technologies that can literally reverse your age. Um, and so the idea that we have to be sick in our 80s and 90s uh, is going to go away pretty quickly within our lifetimes. Aging is malleable. We can control it. Only 20% of our health in old age is due to genetic factors. And the rest is how we live our life. And we can measure this clock. Um, it's literally measuring chemicals that change on our mm. DNA. And we can read that. Uh, my lab has just brought the cost down a hundredfold for this test. So we'll be offering that to people. The good uh, thing about this test is that it tells you how old you are biologically, not chronologically. And that number, it's similar to your credit score. It, it's, a, it's one number to rule your health in the future. And here's the really good news. That number can be changed. If, if you smoke, if you don't exercise, that number will accelerate faster. And conversely, if you do the right things and even take some uh, medicines, um, you can slow that down and we think even reverse that number. And it all comes down to information, uh, which in what I call the information theory of aging. Um, that is that clock that we measure. Well, that, that's the exciting thing is that we've, we're discovering how is it that some animals can live for 300 years, the bowhead whale, for example. And if they can do it, we can do it. We're, you know, we can engineer our bodies. We can make medicines that do this. Mm. We published in the journal Nature in December 2020 that we could turn on three genes that are normally only switched on in embryos. And when we put those into adult animals, mice, we mm. could reverse the age of their complex tissues. And we used it, this system to restore eyesight to old blind mice. And so it's, it's not too far away, certainly within our lifetimes, perhaps five years away, where we will be reversing the age of the body. We'll start with the eye uh, and, and turning the clock back. And when you do that, what you find is that tissues and organs that are dysfunctional with aging come back to life and mm. work perfectly again. That aging is not something separate from Alzheimer's mm. or heart disease. The leading cause of those diseases is the aging process, which we can now control. And it turns out, based on what we're doing in my lab and a few others around the world, that if you turn the clock back, those diseases go away. Mm -hmm. And this is the revolution that we've been working on a Band-Aid system, trying to yeah. fix diseases that are already there while ignoring the main cause of those diseases, which is the ticking of that clock.